on the website for Soy Life, it talks about the prebiotic effect. What exactly is a prebiotic? Prebiotic effects means that uh, in the product you have a component that can stimulate the good microflora that you already have in your system. Oh, really? Yes, usually it's uh, linked to the fiber portion of your product. Mm -hmm. In the case of soy life, and then we're strictly talking about uh, the soy life complex and to a lesser extent for the, the, the extracts, mm -hmm. we're referring uh, to the oligosaccharides present okay. in the product. And that can have a prebiotic effect, so it stimulates the good microflora in your intestines. So we've, we've proven that, that it stimulates the lactic acid bacteria mm -hmm. in the gut. And uh, furthermore, we, we also proved that these, the stimulation of the gut microflora actually helps you metabolize the isoflavins. Okay. So by this combination of the oligosaccharides together with the uh, isoflavins in, in the Soy Life Complex product, you can actually get a, a higher benefit of the isoflavins because you metabolize the isoflavins much better. So you absorb more. You absorb more. Yeah. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the OPUS study? The OPUS study uh, has been a funded study um, mm -hmm. a few years ago. It started. It's a four and a half million dollar funded wow. study. Uh, it was targeted to do a long-term study on bone health, mm -hmm. so a two-year study. It was a multi-site study. Three universities were involved there, with uh, altogether 400 patients. That's a lot. Yes, that's really a lot. So the Baylor College of Medicine in Houston was mm -hmm. involved in this study, uh, also the University of California in Davis and the University in Georgia in Athens, Georgia was uh, involved in this study. So all sites provided approximately 130, 35 uh, volunteers that participated in the study. So they took uh, soy life uh, for two years at a dose of 80 milligrams or 120 milligrams mm -hmm. compared to the placebo and uh, it was tested for the, the, the bone health conditions, bone parameters, but also on safety parameters. Mm -hmm. And so those women were really checked very intensely to be sure that there was nothing, uh, any safety, any safety issue, any adverse effects related to a long-term soy intake at reasonably yeah. high doses. And there were none? There were none uh, adverse effects related to the, the soy life intake, and uh, the results that we have so far is that uh, the bone, the total body the bone mineral density stays where it is, so no uh, reduction there. So it's a, it's a good benefit then for the postmenopausal women. That sounds like a very valuable study. That looks really like a very valuable study, <laughs> and you know, really hoping that the researchers will start writing up the story, the study as soon as possible. They're good. working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Verbruggen. Sure. You're welcome.